And function imaging, because we're injecting a tracer substance that goes to the brain cells. So this is something that's been around for 20 some odd years. It was designed to go through the intact blood-brain barrier. So it doesn't disturb brain function, because of course that would defeat the purpose of the test. So it doesn't disturb brain function. Because it's a trace quantity over here, it doesn't have any pharmacologic effect. So it doesn't disturb brain function. It's not a dye, so there's no allergic reactions to this. Been used for 20 years around the world in millions of people. I've scanned kids anywhere from under two to 92, and nobody has any reaction to this. Nobody regresses. It has no sedating effect or what have you. Uh, it doesn't impact the brain, and yet we can get accurate function information. So in essence, I say is that we're really not looking at any one particular diagnosis. We're looking at in vivo, and that is in the body, living biochemistry. That's really what we're looking at. And yes, uh, we can do because we have sedation and because the individual is injected when they're doing something, not when they're in the scanner. In other words, usually what happens with these children, we have them sit on the parent's lap when they're getting the injection, so they're with their parent right there in the most comforting way that they can be. We do the injection, there's no reaction to it, and only later do we give them some sedation when they're in the scanner. Is that clear? <laughs> 